Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, I'm Katie Scott. In the headlines today, Apple's big announcement, PSPs may become mobile phones in the future, and it's been a day of Blu-ray. Panasonic launched the DMP BD30 Blu-ray player, Sony launched two bonus view players, and finally tech company Goldmund is planning to sell a 17K Blu-ray player. We thought we'd tell you now so you can start saving. We told you there'd be a huge launch and we were right. Apple has today refreshed its MacBook and MacBook Pro lineup. The models now offer the latest Intel Core 2 Duo processors, larger hard drives and 2GB of memory come standard in most of the models. The new MacBook Pros will be even faster with up to 2.6GHz processor and up to a 300GB hard drive, plus NVIDIA GeForce GT graphics with up to 512MB of video memory. Plus, in addition, the MacBook Pro now includes a long-awaited trackpad. The new MacBook lineup also got a speed boost with new processors up to 2.4 gigahertz, plus larger hard drives and a new 2 gigabytes of memory across the lineup. And hooray hooray, the prices are staying the same, with MacBooks from £699 and MacBook Pros starting at £1,299. <laughs> The PSP could replace your mobile phone if BT has its way. The telecoms giant has told Megawatt on the eve of the launch of its Go Messenger service on the PSP that it's already planning a call-out feature for the free software. Stuart Miles was at BT Tower in London to find out more. Thanks, Katie. Yes, this might have been announced in August, but now the Go Messenger service on the Sony PSP is finally becoming a reality at the end of the month. The camera, which is currently available at $34.99, is really the only accessory you need, and the software is completely free and basically allows you to talk to a number of different people with also with Go Messengers, so that means 11 million PSP owners around 303 countries around the world. Check out our full review on megawatt.tv to get the lowdown of what we really thought. Back to you. The format war is over and now everyone and their uncle is going to be releasing Blu-ray players. First up is Panasonic with the DMP BD30 player. This has been available stateside since the autumn but now can be yours in the UK for £349. It offers 9020 by 1080 image resolution and a high quality surround sound from advanced formats such as Dolby True HD and DTS HD. Also worth a mention is the 1080 24p playback function which provides Blu-ray disc movies with the same 24 frames per second playback used in movie theatres. Other features include the ability to upscale DVD to 1080p, play CDs and the player also has an SD card slot. And an added bonus, it comes bundled in the UK with Ratatouille and Cars. Next up is Sony with not one but two new Blu-ray players. The BDP S350 and S550 models both support bonus view which is picture in picture as featured on some new Blu-ray disc movie releases. Both models are also BD Live ready with an Ethernet port for firmware updates and access to internet based interactive content features. The players will feature 1080, 60p and 24p true cinema output. The new S350 will ship in the summer for about $400 and the S550 will be available later in the year for around $500. For the full specs, check out PocketLint now. And finally, we're giving you the heads up on the must-have product of the year, and it'll set you back a mere 17k. But surely this is no price to pay for a Blu-ray player. Pat Sony and Panasonic, what you want is a Goldman EDOS 20BD. Signature technology will include the AC Curator power supply circuit, which dramatically improves picture and sound stability and dynamics, and the mechanical grounding construction, which removes from the player mechanism spurious vibrations, blurring the video signal and increasing jitter. So that explains why it's so expensive. I get it now. <laughs> Those were the big stories of the day. Join us again tomorrow for more news and views from the world of gadgets and technology. Thanks for watching.